Hi, this is Darren Lyle. In the last video, we set up the Blender interface for texture painting and began using the fill brush to block out basic colors. Let's go ahead and continue doing that for the rest of the model. So we've got the color for the vest blocked out. Um, I think I'm going to do a similar thing for the belt and the helmet. Um, finding some nice leather colors here for these items and fill these. So up here with the helmet, I'm going to hover over the helmet, press the L key. And now that I've selected a color with the fill brush, I'll just click it and there's the helmet. And let's work on the belt over here as well. I think for the belt, I want another kind of image texture. I want to choose another leather for the belt, something like something like this, I think. So now I've got a different texture to sample here. See if I can find a color I like. How about that? So now what I want to do is come down here and select the pieces of the belt that I want to fill. I'm just hovering over the objects and pressing the L key. And what this is doing, it's actually not... I'm going to press the control up arrow to get to full screen here. If you look at it, what it's doing is it's actually selecting it by UV shells. In other words, it's selecting things based on where I put the seams in the UV map. All right, so there I've chosen the belt. Now I've got my fill color. Make my brush a little bigger here. And there we go. That's that. Let me find a new texture for the boots here. How about this one? Let's come down here and let's select all the boots. And fill that. So you can see here as we fill things, it's getting filled in in the UV map. And that's exactly what we want. We want to get these base colors laid down so that we can then um, add extra detail, texture paint the extra details over that base color. I've got some skin textures that I can use. I'm going to find those. Um, so maybe this skin here. Let's take a look at this. See what that looks like. Yeah, let's try this. I'm going to find a nice skin color by pressing the S key. And then just coming over here and clicking on the selected object. And there we go. I'll also do that for the arms and the hands. And now the shirt. I have a shirt texture here. I'll grab that color. And for the pants, I've got this woven texture here that what I'm going to use is use this both for the color and we'll use this texture to paint a bump texture that matches this weave. But for now, I'm just going to select a color off of this to put down on the pants as a, as a base. Now you can also sample colors off of the UV map here if you want, but you need to be sure and switch from view to paint mode. Once you do that, you can then sample off of here again. So say if I wanted to um, sample some color again off of the helmet here, I could hover over the helmet and press S, grab that color. And for the strap here, maybe I'll make this just a little bit lighter. And then come in and select that strap and fill that. No, oh, I don't like that. I think I want it to be a little bit darker now. Let's try this. Yeah, something like that. And I'll do the same thing for the... 
piece here. And for the goggles here, I've got a uh, brass texture as well. I can find that and bring that into sample. So maybe, uh, maybe this one here. Let's try that. And I can hover over that, press the S key, and see if I can find a nice color here. I'll do something like that. And now I'm going to hover over the goggles, press the L key, and select all of these pieces. Now I can just fill that. There we go. And for the little rivets here, I think I'll just make those a little bit darker so I can see them. And I'll go through and select those. And now that those are selected, I'll just fill those as well. So you may find that, you've, that you get these little anomalies that don't get filled in properly. There are a couple things you can do with that. One is just to go in and sample the color off the UV map and then fill it again. And sometimes that works, but it doesn't seem to be working here for this one. So also what you can do is, since you're in paint mode right here, you can just go straight into the UV map itself. So I'm going to change to the normal brush here and sample this color again. And now I'm just going to paint right over that. I'll turn the, the strength all the way up, and I'll also turn off the um, pressure sensitivity for now and just paint right over that. So if you see any errors like that, that's one way to take care of them. So it looks like I've got a couple of errors here on the, on the goggles. Let's see if I can figure out where those are. It looks to me like here's the goggles. So I'm going to change back to the fill brush here, sample a color, and then see if I can fill that again. And that helped on that one here. All right, we've got a good start on our texture painting here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue blocking out the colors for the rest of the character. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll begin uh, texture painting some more details onto each of the pieces. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.